Hey guys, Rob out here at IamAlwaysInHotWater.com towards the end of September and I am backtracking on boats. Uh, I started this listing about two weeks ago. Um, the seller was doing a little bit of work and I finally made my way back out. And what I'm going to try and do out here today on this 2008 Carolina Skiff 198 DLV with a Suzuki 4-stroke, um, which is also a 2008 model. Uh, DF-115 three-blade stainless steel prop is just give you guys the walkthrough as I see it uh, second owner uh, purchased from a dealership and uh, the vessel has 500 about 500 hours on it give or take 480 to 520 uh, last service done in March of this year uh, probably about 40 to 50 hours ago so keep that all in mind and on track you have a 2016 trailer, uh, just purchased uh, probably about a month and a half ago, if that. Uh, it's touched salt water four times, maybe five times, uh, for sea trialing and running the boat, uh, which, as I'm told, uh, runs real nice on the water. So I will give you an update um, as to one cosmetic condition, work that's been done, where the vessel stands, and hopefully. Uh, I'll either entice you to come see the boat and uh, put it under contract or um, not come see the boat. First and foremost on this 198, I want to start pointing out, um, we all know what the boat is and what it does. So what I want to do is kind of cover cosmetic issues. As you can see, you got some rub rail uh, that's going to be banged up. This vessel has been fished um, and used appropriately, fishing, shrimping, crabbing, you name it. Uh, it's done it. Uh, I want to just kind of point out right here, and I got two video cameras running because one gets a little closer than the other, although one's going to be a little grainy. Um, you can kind of see a little repair was done there. Um, you know, not too good, uh, but it's it's covered up and because uh, you had a little chip right there. And if you guys can see right here, as I'm looking up underneath, hopefully the GoPro can get in here. You got a chip here. And you got a nice little scratch running right there. Now, easily repairable. And once again, if you're fishing the vessel, um, that really isn't an issue. Uh, this type of boat, generally for a lot of guys, is used more for work uh, than pleasure. And then sometimes a little bit of both. And I'm going to kind of pop up underneath here. And you guys can kind of see you got a little bit of a rub out right here. And then up right over there. So, um, you know, just so you see that, and you know, that's the vessel's being sold as is, where is, so I don't want you to show up and, you know, be disappointed. Most guys looking at a boat like this understand exactly uh, what they're looking at and what comes along with it. Um, but, you know, I do like to cover the cosmetic um, for those out there. Now, she's a, she's a good looking vessel and she's in nice shape. And, um, you know, like most people in this area, uh, the boat has been used and going from there. I also want to point out on the four stroke, the 115, it is cable steering, it's not power steering. Uh, we have clean titles on motor and trailer. You can take a look here. This is where a um, uh, transducer was. So you got that going on uh, right there. You got a little chip right here. You know, and I'm pointing out the negative. I'm not, you know, downing the vessel. I just want you to be clear. Um, you know, she's not in, you know, like new condition. She is a used boat. Um, but nice. Definitely nice. Solid. You guys know the vessel. If you're looking at skiffs, um, she'll do the job for you. I think a little bit of elbow grease and a couple cosmetic repairs and you will be 100% ready to go. Once again, don't take my word for it. Bring your mechanic, bring a surveyor, do as you must. Once again, I'm just pointing out the obvious as we're walking around. He just gave her a quick rinse for me, so I'm gonna get it dirty a little bit. And you know, no big surprises here. Um, you know, big four deck area, plenty of storage uh, for you know casting um, and fishing. You know, you got that going on, so, uh, you know, that's what it's generally used for. You got some cosmetic spider cracking right here. Chip. 
standard cosmetic and on the deck you're gonna have a couple of spots usually that's from the anchor hit now but to get into let's just kind of walk around and see if we can pick anything else apart cosmetically that would be offensive maybe um, whatever was mounted here could have been rod holders you know it has been covered up uh, you know although quickly so once again you can kind of see what you have going on here let's just take a quick peek down in here uh, you know new bilge from you know it's my understanding battery is fresh live well right there cooler box up on this right here when I pop this down you can kind of see you don't have your lever right there Let's see. fuel tank all right now as I walk through uh, cushions also brand new uh, probably just uh, four four months old uh, at best and um, they were just put in so you can kind of see you're good on that you got a brand new trailer um, you should be good on service for a bit uh, new cushions there so we kind of go with that and uh, what we're gonna cover here is so you guys can see your helm panel obviously there's no GPS you build your aerator your nav lights bait pump and horn although I don't hear a horn working so we'll just assume no horn I don't see one uh, but most importantly bilge pump aerator nav lights now uh, fuel gauge um, shoot is the fuel gauge I think the fuel gauge I can't remember if the fuel gauge is working um, or not so uh, I'm gonna assume no being that I don't see anything kicking on although there is very little fuel in there miles per hour gauge uh, this does work um, he's got a bullet you know it's got the little pinhole up in the bottom where it's taken in the water and generally most of those bales after a while it probably just needs to be blown out um, your tack is brand new this tack was just purchased last week at Webster's Marine and the key to this tack is and kind of important for your Suzuki's in this type of model is the um, you have your indicator lights in this tack it's about a $400 tack and it's going to give you temp, oil, um, you know, checking your engine and, and all of the things when, before your alarms go off. The RPM gauge right now is not revving up. Apparently the new wiring, it was a little different wiring than the old tack, although it's the same tack. Um, and he had it out on the water and the RPM wasn't revving up. Um, obviously the engine was revving, but it's not reading. He's going to go to Webster's Marine today and find out if there's an adapter or uh, what's the difference between that uh, two and three wire setup they sent to kind of get that worked out. But that may be something he may or may not be able to get worked out. Uh, he's pretty mechanically inclined. I assume that'll be working uh, once he gets done talking to them. So anyway, that's where you're at. Uh, miles per hour gauge will work. We just got to, you know, the line needs to be blown out and um, you know, RPM gauge needs uh, obviously correct wiring adjustment and you know the rest of the boats pretty simple standard uh, remote Suzuki remote so overall that is it 2008 198 DLV if this is what you're looking for we have it give us a call reasonable offers will be considered on an offer sheet and uh, that will require deposit to present to the seller so anyway, Rob out here at IamAlwaysInHotWater.com, signing off. You guys have a great and safe boating day.